I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report and before 430 in the morning we do have rain and storms. We saw these things blossoming up late last night. They moved from offshore to onshore. They are producing heavy rain and lightning. These storms are elevated thunderstorms, so they're a little different than what you see in the spring and summer because our air is stable. They're not producing severe weather, but they are producing very slick roads. Notice though a huge chunk of Mobile County has started to go dry. The nastiest rain and storm activity is still showing up in southern Baldwin County, Gulf Shores, Bon Secours, Orange Beach, Wolf Bay, getting a torrential downpour and getting very frequent lightning. We're also seeing a lot of that south of Fort Morgan and Dauphin Island, and we're seeing those showers and storms move northeast, so they're continuing to move over Pensacola, Milton, near Cantonment, and Allentown dealing with offshore to onshore rain and storms. A very wet commute is expected, especially now if you're east of Interstate 65. By late morning and into midday, the rain's gone. The afternoon will be much drier and we're expecting temperatures to be in the mid to upper 60s later this afternoon, but additional chances for rain and storms come in throughout the course of this week. So your weather headlines for your Tuesday, a wet and stormy morning and then this afternoon dry and mild and then for the rest of the week, the rain chances will continue. Here's the Fox 10 future cast. Here's your morning showers and storms and then notice as we roll the clock forward by the time we get to 11 a.m everyone's dry. So by late morning, the rain has already moved out and the afternoon will still have clouds around, but the rain and storm threat will be over with and will be dry through this evening. So we marked the big storm chance for only this morning, upper 60s for this afternoon, mid to low 70s for tomorrow and Thursday. We'll have another big chance of rain coming in Thursday, but then we go cooler and drier by the end of next week. We'll see morning temperatures back down into the mid 30s for Sunday and Monday morning and highs starting Sunday back down into the low 50s. We'll talk much more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.